Mohammed Ashraf is one of the governors accused of trying to impose hardline Muslim values at a school in Birmingham, something he strongly denies. Were you trying to make Golden Hillock, a state school, into a faith school? No. I could categorically say no. There, has, there hasn't been attempts since I've been there, and nor do the governors have any desire to do so. Golden Hillock was one of several Birmingham schools placed into special measures by Ofsted for apparently failing to protect pupils from extremist Islamic views. Why was sex education temporarily banned? Sex education was never temporarily banned. So you and other governors do agree that it's important that all teenagers, including Muslim teenagers, have a very balanced sex education. That's, they learn about things like contraception, yeah. about relationships with the opposite sex. Yeah. You agree with that? That's, that's I, I totally agree. We've actually encouraged it and we've actually added other stuff that affect the um, makeup of the area. And we've encouraged them kind of uh, issues. Of, for example, we've got issues on grooming and also forced marriages. Mohammed says the school ethos simply reflected the largely Muslim community. Is it true that some governors refused to shake hands with female members of staff? Well, for starters, none of us have. There has been never um, any alleg or complaint made, to, I mean, brought to the governing body about shaking hands. I mean, would, you, would you shake a female member of staff? I think that's, that's, that's evident enough. I have no issue. I know of no governor that has any issues. So it's all lies? Ofsted reports, former teachers, well, they're all lying? I question the motive of... Um, um, Ofsted, but I think it was politically driven. So you think it's Islamophobia? I do think it's Islamophobia, yes. The school was made into an academy, free from local authority control, in the hope of improving results. Local authority were more than happy to just walk away, not really support the school much at all. Not even support us through some of the challenges we were actually facing. Do you think they just wanted to wash their hands of you? Yes, I think they, they let us down. They let the school down, they let the children down. Mohammed says he became a governor because he wanted his children and others in this deprived part of Birmingham to get a better education. Now he says this scandal will tarnish their future prospects. Rebecca Barry, Five News.